Welcome back to the channel. It's Brene with no Drew. Hey, and today I gotta talk to you. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, let's go. Welcome back to the channel. You know how we do. We get out a by the expo. Ah. Oh, oh. Welcome back to the channel. Oh, welcome back to the. So today I kind of want to talk a little bit about the top things I've learned in my 20s. I'm still in my 20s, but I've learned so much since being in my 20s and someone requested this video and I was like, okay, I could do that. So the, the first thing that I've learned is to never do anything just for money. So there have been a couple of things that I've done um, businesses that I've started because I'm like, oh, this is a good business opportunity. I could just make a lot of money, da 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 da, da. Um, Or I don't know, it could be a, a job that you're working just for money, but you're sacrificing your mental health. You're sacrificing like your whole life behind it. And it's like, oh, it's paying the bills, but it's taking me down. So that's one of the, the biggest things I've learned is to never do anything just for the money. I feel like money is an unlimited resource. And I think that we have to start thinking that way. Um, and that money can be made. So never do anything just for money, like ever. The next thing that I've learned um, in my 20s is to always trust my intuition. You know that gut feeling that you get, like, no, that's not right, or da 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 da, but then you like try to push it away because, I don't know, you just feel like you should just ignore yourself. Always trust your intuition and never ignore your gut feeling. That is there for a reason. Um, and I've ignored myself so many times and I've, it's turned out to be exactly what I knew it was, you know? So it's like never ignore your gut feelings and unctions and always trust your intuition. Your mind, your body, your spirit, they are one and they know what's good for you and what's not. So stop ignoring it, okay? The next thing that I learned in my 20s is to trust God's plan even when it seems like it ain't working out, okay? Trust me, that is a hard one. It's like, oh my God. God, like, what do you mean I'm supposed to just do this? Or what do you mean I have to wait? Why are you closing that door, God? Why did he break up with me, God? Like, da 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 Like, trust God's plan even when it seems like it's not gonna work out or when it seems like it's going wrong, bad. There's been so many times where I was frustrated, I'm upset, I'm mad at God. And the thing that I'm mad about, when I get further down the road, I'm like, oh my God, Lord, thank you for letting that happen because you literally protected me from something that would have been much, much, much worse. So always trust God's plan and always know that he has a plan for you. Even when it looks like he does it, even when it looks all bad, it's always all good. God got you, okay? The next one that I have, um, that I've learned in my, my 20s is that multiple streams of income are very important. And we hear that word a lot, oh, multiple streams, multiple streams, multiple streams, that phrase a lot. But it's so true, multiple streams of income are super important. Um, and it takes time to build multiple streams of income. But it's like, if, there's been several times where we've lost a, a certain contract with business or we've lost a certain stream of income, but it didn't hurt because we had something else. We had, you know, like we had other streams of income kicking in. So multiple in streams of income are very important. So even if you work a job right now, if you work a nine to five, consider having like at least a little side hustle or consider, you know, having something that you do on the side. So just in case, like coronavirus, you know, just in case something happens, at least you still have a nest egg, you know, there for you. So saving and multiple streams of income are very, very important. The next thing that I've learned in my 20s is that awareness is the key, one of the keys to life. You have to be aware of everything. Awareness promotes growth. When you're self-aware, I feel like you can grow so much. I feel like awareness just promotes growth. And it takes a lot of work to become aware and to actually like become like consciously aware of the, pa the patterns that you have, the habits that you have, why you do things, why you're not motivated. Like when you become aware, you can actually fight and beat a lot of things that you feel like have been keeping you back or holding you back for a long time. So you can just awareness period you need to have awareness in your relationships so if you notice that i don't know your boyfriend is just like he treats you a certain way but you want to stay with him just because you're in love like being aware of that will help you say you know what no i'm gonna walk away because i'm not being treated the way that i want to be treated i'm aware now that 
I'm better than this. So yeah, self-awareness is key and I wish that I could dive deeper into that because it's, it's really, man, it's a really good topic, but maybe I'll save that for a later date. The next thing that I've learned in my 20s is that you need to be proactive, not reactive. So proactive is when you've thought about it, you've planned ahead, um, you've, you've been proactive. But when you're reactive, that's when things happen to you and you always have to just, life is just so hard and it's so bad because things are just always happening to you. So you have to be proactive in life. You have to you know, be motivated and you have to be determined to stay ahead of the game. And I know that sounds hard, it sounds crazy, because it is, it's hard. It's hard to be proactive and not reactive. Um, but when you're proactive, it helps you to not be lazy and it keeps you moving forward. So always be proactive, not reactive. And one of the last things that I've learned um, in my 20s is that you can't please everyone. You just can't. Sometimes you just have to be the bad guy and that's just what it is. Um, Everybody goes through difficult seasons in their relationships, in their co-workerships, at work, in their personal lives. Like everybody has different seasons, hard seasons, tough seasons. And I've completely learned that you can't please everyone. And you'll literally take yourself down the tubes trying to make sure everybody's happy, trying to make sure that no one's mad at you, trying to make sure that you're the best wife or daughter or friend or daughter-in-law some people just, you can't please everyone and that's okay. Sometimes you gotta be the bad person. They can be mad at you, they can cuss you out, but guess what? You can't steal my peace because what I'm not about to do is sit here and go to hell and back trying to please you. I did that for years and years and years and it doesn't work because those people are not happy with themselves. And so they're never, how if they're not happy with themselves, how can they ever be happy with you? You're always gonna be having to strive to make them happy or to get on their good side or keep them happy or whatever. So you can't please everyone and that is okay. It's okay to be the bad guy, it's okay to say no, it's okay to not always be the pretty princess or pretty prince, you know, like you can't please everybody. So those are the top things that I've learned since um, being in my 20s. And I feel like 20s, like there are years of growth and just like character building and like, man. So 30s aren't, coming to me for a few more years, but I'm so excited to get there because I feel like, man, those are going to be some golden years. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love y'all and I will see you.